the last time we met, how Parsley lost his tail, he was very upset. Mind you, I don't really blame him. Parsley is a lion, and lions have their appearances to keep up. Sage, the owl, was upset as well, in more ways than one. When Parsley got his tail back, Sage had his nest blown out of the tree where he lives, and not even Sir Basil, Lady Rosemary, Bayleaf, the odd job man, Dill the dog, or even Constable Knapweed could get it back. They had a terrible time. I'll show you what happened, if you like. I'd better say the magic word. Herbidacious. That's Sage. He isn't in a very good mood at the moment. Owls usually like to sleep in the daytime, and what with one thing and another, he's hardly closed his eyes all day. It's been raining as well, which doesn't help matters. I'm a rather fat feathery owl called Sage. I'm not at all happy, in fact, in a rage. It's bad enough having one's home all upset. But to make matters worse, all my feathers are wet. Mm. It must be very uncomfortable. To it, tissue. To it, tissue. Today, said Parsley, feels like a Y day. Not a Monday or a Tuesday, or even a Wednesday or a Thursday, but a Y day. I must look it up in my book. Y is the penultimate word in the alphabet. Fancy that. And I always thought it was the one before the last. 